Hello guys, welcome back to Sports Corner GH. My name is Adam. So guys, if you see me wearing this nice Black Star JC, that means we are going to continue with our Black Star series. Ghana play Central African Republic in the last game of the African Cup of Nation qualifiers here in Ghana at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium on the 7th of September, 4 p.m. So guys, those are the details of the match. Now we started this series yesterday talking about defenders likely to be called up by coach Chris Hutton. We talked about nine defenders that could be called up by coach Chris Hutton and also a standby of four defenders that must be included in coach Chris Hutton's squad so if you have not watched that particular video guys please make sure to watch it i'll pin the link in the comment section so that you can watch it but because i want to refresh our memory on this particular series let's look at the defenders i talked about yesterday with the right back i said that dennis odoy Tarek Lamte and Ali Dusiedo would likely be called up by coach Chris Hutton. Left back would have Gideon Mensah, Patrick Pozo. Center back would have Daniel Amate, Alexander Jiku, Mohamed Salisu, and also Joseph Egdu. So these are the complete nine players concrete. I believe coach Chris Hutton might call up. Now, the standby list, we had names like Baba Rahman, Nicolas Opoku, Kasim Adams. We also, people were mentioning Patrick Fiefa, people were also mentioning Stefan Ambrosius who were supposed to be part of the Black Star squad. Now that is what we discussed yesterday. In today's video, we are going to look at the midfielders. Now, when it comes to the midfield of the Black Stars, when we, we have players performing top, top, top for their club side who are in the Black Star squad when it comes to our midfield. So in today's video, we are going to look at midfielders who are likely to be called up by Coach Chris Hutton. Five midfielders plus three on standby. Five midfielders and three on the standby list. That is what we are going to discuss in today's video. So guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure to subscribe. If you have already subscribed too, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Let's not forget, if you see names here, if you see some names here, this is shout out to those who comment under this video. Thank you very much for supporting Sports Corner GH. There are a lot of names, so I'll be bringing them as this series continues going on. This particular series continues going on. I'll be bringing you more shout outs of guys and also supporters of Sports Corner GH. So quickly, let's jump into it and start talking about midfielders who are likely to be called up by Coach Chris Hutton to face Central African Republic in the last game of the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. The first player we are going to talk about is Thomas Pate. When we talk about Ghana's midfield currently, you can't leave out Thomas Pate. He is the assistant captain of the Black Stars and an important member of Arsenal. Despite the transfer rumors of him leaving Arsenal to Juventus, he has been influential for Arsenal during the preseason, during their community shield, and also in their first game they played against Nottingham Forest. Now, Thomas party has proven time after time that he is very important both for us now and also for the black stars i know most of you say when thomas party is in the black stars he doesn't give it his all but what i can tell you is that when he is used properly as how he is using us now i believe we can get the best out of thomas party so when it comes to midfielders that would be called up by coach chris Hutton to win that particular game against central african republic the name that comes on top of your mind would be thomas party now moving away from that the next player that comes on top of your mind again would be Mohamed Kudus we all know what Mohamed Kudus can do for club and country for club he has scored 18 goals last season he gave about six assists last season in fact Currently, when it comes to transfer markets, there are teams after his signature, West Ham, Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester United, Brighton and Hove Albion, all these teams were interested at a point in signing Mohamed Kudus. Now, Mohamed Kudus, we all saw what he did for the Black Stars during the World Cup. He scored, I think, about two or three goals and also gave an assist one player of the match in the match against Ghana versus Central or South Korea. Ghana versus South Korea in the World Cup, Mohamed Kudus won that particular man of the match in that tournament. 
Guys, if all these numbers and performances don't tell you the true testament of the quality Mohamed Kudus possesses, I don't know what else to tell you. See, currently, Mohamed Kudus is one player I believe we can bank on if we actually need goals in the Black Star setup. Within our midfield setup, players who can score goals would be Mohamed Kudus. The last game we played against Madagascar, Coach Chris Yutin didn't use him. Most Ghanaians complained that why didn't Coach Chris Yutin use him? But I believe this time around, Coach Chris Yutin will learn from his mistake and use Mohamed Kudus in the game we are going to play against Central African Republic. And I believe he's an integral member of the Black Star squad. So he's the second midfielder, I believe, is going to get a call up by Coach Chris Yutin to face Central African Republic in our last game in the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Now, the third midfielder that I believe is going to gain a call up would be Salis. Abdul, Samed. You see, these names, definitely they are the ones who play our midfield. Now, Abdul Salih Samed plays for our ceilings. We have seen him last season perform wonderfully well. We also saw him during the World Cup perform wonderfully well. His partnership with Thomas Pate, very excellent. He's very calm on the ball. His passing range, very good. We all saw how good he was when he plays for the Black Stars, when he plays for our ceilings. Currently, Crystal Palace are interested in the idea of signing him as a replacement for Shik Dukuri if he leaves for Liverpool. Now, Salis Abdul Samet at a point last season was named one of the best midfielders in the French League. Ah, if you look at all these performances, all these accolades, all these numbers, it only tells you do that the Black Stars midfield is a very strong part of that particular team. And looking at the midfield names that I'm calling, I believe we should be winning this game very easily. So I believe Salis Abdul Samet would surely end a call up to the Black Stars squad and Chris Uten must make sure this happens. Now to the fourth player i believe baba idrisu it is time it is time for baba idrisu to come back to the black star setup now this is my reason i know there are other players but i'm going to tell you the reason why i believe baba idrisu should end a call up back to the black star squad now last season or even let me start from the world cup the world cup when we talk about our our midfielders it was baba idrisu and also thomas party now baba idrisu got injured he wasn't selected and since then he hasn't even earned a call up to the black star squad injury took away that form from him he wasn't getting playing time with lcd marioka now he has left lcd marioka to Almeria on loan with an option to buy. In fact, immediately he landed, did his medical side. The next day, he started playing game for Almeria. He played 77 minutes for them. He was very good in that game, getting a sofa score rating of 7.1. He was so excellent in that game. And I was so impressed with his performance. And I believe that if Coach Chris Hutton is looking for a proper player who also has a relationship with Thomas Pate in the middle of the pitch, Baba Idrisu is that guy the, the relationship is there already he's an experienced player and i believe if you are looking at uh, the midfield option currently you need to go in for him baba idrisu now let's talk about the fifth player and i believe edmond ado would still be called out by coach chris Hutton. now my reason being that now edmond ado has some qualities i believe coach chris Hutton likes it's not only about playing regularly at your club side, but I believe there are certain qualities that a player has that will let him be earn a call up into the national team. And I believe Edmond Addo is going to earn a call up, not only because of the qualities I believe Coach Chris Hutton sees in him, also with the injuries we have in our you know, midfield players. Our midfield players, a lot of them have injuries. The likes of Ashimeru, and, and, and uh, Kofi Tre and uh, Elisha Owusu, all these players are on the standby list and they also have injuries. They are nursing injuries. Some of them are now recovering from these injuries. So I believe Edmond Addo will slot in for this last game against Central African Republic. So these are the five midfielders. I believe Coach Chris Hutton is going to call up to face Central African Republic. Thomas Pate, Mohamed Kudus, Salis Abdo Samet. Baba Idrisu and also Edmond Adu. Now, let's take a look at our standby list. And our standby list is full of players I believe have injuries or they are now recovering from injuries. Up from now to 7th September, who knows? 
I mean, it would take you a very long time to recover from your injuries, to be match fit, to actually play football on a consistent level. For the fact that you're match fit doesn't mean you are going to get that same form you had whilst, you know, you were playing or before you had the injury. So this is the standby list on your screen. We have Majid Ashimeru, per report that have announced or reported on in some videos that have made. Ajit, Majid Ashimeru is going to be out for at least one month. He had, you know, a muscle injury he's going to be out for at least one month daniel kofitre since last season he has been injured now that he's now he's not even recovering he hasn't started playing football like that he's now recovering doing cardio doing you no know, stretching and all those things he leaves goes to barcelona in spain make sure that like at least he's recovering bit by bit by bit he's not much fit yet but i'm putting him in the list anything can happen elisha Owusu. as for him he has recovered his match fit he's playing few games for AJ Oxo in the French League. Ah, AJ Oxo, who has been, they have already been demoted from the French League. Ah, sorry. AJ Oxo has been demoted from the late French League. Ah, they are playing the French League too. So, he has also started playing games for um, AJ Oxo and then let's see what happens. But I believe my top five are the ones I've already mentioned and these are the standby list. Let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. If you think I missed the player, let me know that below in the comment section. Or do you think a player in this list is not supposed to be there? Let me know that down below in the comment section thanks for joining me my name is adam don't forget to like subscribe and turn on notification i'll make sure to see you in the next video challenge ghana has to win this i'll make sure to see you in the next video we will vibe